you think there's three killers. One is likely white and two or more African American offenders. Is that correct? Yes. That's what we believe. And do you think that these are all separate random killers or, or is it possibly possible that some of these killers are working together? So it has happened that, uh, Killers have worked in pairs, but it's extremely, extremely rare. There's no chat site or a bulletin board for serial killers. Um, it's hard for them to find each other. And if they did, they probably wouldn't like each other. So um, it's rare. Um, but it does happen. Uh, so mathematically, going with the math, I'd say that uh, these uh, three killers are acting quite independently because that's the most likely uh, likely scenario. And so Vaughn is one of them that some of these were, some of it could have been his work. I also heard the name Arthur Hillard. Is he possibly one of the suspects? Well, he was arrested. Um, and this is one for the books. Uh, he's the only case. We're now down to 50 unsolved strangulations. He was arrested uh, about a year ago uh, when DNA finally came back. Uh, they had some uh, uh, of the a victim's DNA in his apartment and it was the uh, the victim um, and they were able to charge him with murder. Uh, they immediately uh, announced that we suspect him of uh, two other murders, both of men. Uh, one was uh, a man that was uh, wheelchair bound who's, uh, who was photographed by a security camera being thrown in a uh, garbage can, a, a big uh, bin, by Mr. Hilliard. Um, Hilliard was uh, convicted of inappropriate disposal of human remains, um, but not of his murder. Well, police said they think that um, he's guilty of that murder and of a third murder. And I've talked to uh, uh, Chief of Detectives uh, Brendan Dinahan about Hilliard. Um, this is their thinking that Mr. Hilliard is weird enough, he's violent enough, but they're not sure he's the kind of guy that goes trolling along uh, hooker walks looking for, for prostitutes to murder. Uh, they, can't, they can't put that M.O. to him. Uh, so uh, they think he's a serial killer. They just don't think he's our serial killer. So, okay, so okay, so is there any other suspects, or can you not say? Um, not to my knowledge. Okay. Um, the, well, the police have. Um, they think they've cleared one or two cases. I'm not sure they have. They've cleared, but are unable to bring cases to court uh, because the state's attorney's office disagrees with them as to whether the evidence is sufficient. That's a common. Uh, issue in law enforcement that prosecutors don't think is a winnable case. Um, so uh, I don't know. In uh, in one case, uh, the police suspect a boyfriend of one of the um, of one of the Washington Park murders, um, but they they were never able to take it uh, to trial. And what's odd was uh, there were two murders that occurred 24 hours apart at opposite ends of Washington Park. Both victims were put in a large trash can. Both victims were set on fire. Was it likely that one of those victims was killed by a boyfriend, or was it likely that both victims were the victim of a serial killer? The, um, the pattern is um, absurdly similar. So I don't know. I don't know that they, their suspect is right, but you know, only, only time we hope will tell. Um, but right now, um, they're all part of a, of a pretty large package of unsolved murders that look quite, quite similar.